Hello and welcome to another Wisco Fanatics Wednesday. We are live. We are very excited. We have another special guest, another Wisconsin Badger, our third in the last four weeks. So it's uh, it's pretty cool that we're getting to have some active Badgers on the show. So we're going to welcome Ricardo Holm into the show. Thanks for taking the time to join us today. Yes, sir. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> All right. We had a whole bunch bunch of questions for you it's it's a really exciting to be a badgers fan like we got the whole the whole luke fickle bat signal thing going on um like crazy <laughs> but so yeah. it's a question at the front of everybody's mind is what was your first impression of luke fickle um he was a really good dude really good person you know um kind of when we first had that team meeting when everything went down and he uh organized that you know he let us know like firsthand that you know he was he was here to only enhance what we have. You know, he was excited to be here. I think he gave all of us like a like that confidence in him that he was the guy to lead us because you know he all he made us all feel like really great about him and he's just like a really good dude. Just uh having the like we were, we were able to be coached by him during the bowl session and then able to be coached by him during the game and he's a really good dude, really smart, really great coach. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, I, I, I definitely get that sort of uh, uh, first impre- impression as well. So, and then when he gets hired, right, he's bringing on his assistant. So, and I know this ju- just happened officially, but um, were you have you been able to get be in get in contact with Coach Tressel at all? And if so, what's your first impression of him? Would you say? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I actually meet. I actually met with him um, on official visit weekend because uh, I was hosting uh, hosting Jonas the recruit so you know oh, i got cool. to have a little bit of time with him and just talk to, with him one-on-one for a bit and he seemed like a really good dude as well you know um very smart we talked a little bit of ball seems like a very smart dude and then i'm excited to work with him as well so they both seem like really good dudes that's awesome so this one goes back a little bit further but you know you're obviously you're playing a power five conference a big school like wisconsin like who in your life inspired your love of football um, definitely, definitely my uh, stepfather with him, uh, playing in the NFL, you know, and, uh, mm-hmm. me being around him ever since I was young. So, you know, he kind of instilled the love for the game in me, uh, at a young age. It was all, it was so much like the first thing I would watch is all, would always be football, watching him play and everything like that. So that really helped me to love football so much at a young age. And then, you know, it helped that I was kind of good at it. So that was it. <laughs> yeah. That just catapulted me into like the love I have for football now. Awesome. <laughs> Tyler, were you? Yeah, you got the. You had this next one here. I think. Um. Right. Well, you can go ahead. We can. We can keep alternating. Okay. So I got. One. One sec here. So what would you say? You know. You're obviously we kind of talked talked about this before we hopped on here, but maybe if you can figure it out, maybe the biggest difference between besides the weather, possibly the biggest difference between playing football in Florida versus Wisconsin. Besides the weather, besides the weather, I would say um, definitely just kind of. I would say the size, the size of like you know, back in Florida, we're not. The, when you get to college in Wisconsin and you notice all the guys from Wisconsin, different places from the Midwest, like different places like that, and the size of the guys are huge. You know, back in Florida, we're not used to – we're more of like the athletic type and just the, all of that. So we never had like the size as I've seen like the people have up here. So I would say that's probably – outside of the world, that's probably like the most major difference, just the, the size of the athletes in Wisconsin and the size of the athletes in Florida. Right. Yeah. I, I know I threw you for a curveball ball there with the whole weather concept. I'm glad that was a good detailed answer, though. <laughs> so it was really cool to like. I just saw the. It was probably actually like right before the bowl game, but um, you were named Rookie of the Year for the Badgers for the football team this year. How did you react to to winning that award? Uh, that was that was really exciting. Like I know, um, as soon as because they called me up uh, at the at the ceremony, and then you know, as soon as I got up, as soon as I got up there, I was just so nervous because I was like, I told the guys, I was like, yeah, I wasn't expecting to win an award, but you know, uh, thank you guys, you know, and just uh, for allowing me to for allowing me to be here and stuff like that. 
And but it was it was awesome, you know, uh, being able to be recognized uh, by my teammates and coaches as rookie of the year. You know, it just lets you know that the work you put in, the work I put in from the spring, the summer, the winter, everything, it all paid off. And you know, I was able to kind of make like a a good resume for myself this year, and uh, I was able to play some ball, and I got the attention of my teammates and my coaches. So I felt so great. And it even gives you more motivation to, to work hard, harder, I'm sure. Not that, and I'm sure you already have plenty in the tank already, but um, just that acknowledgement, I'm sure, just fires you right the hell, hell up for sure. <laughs> yes, sir. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and then, you know, going off of that, so you got just get done with a bowl game, right? You obviously got to go play a game down there. What would you say is your was your favorite part of the whole, you know, bowl game experience it's, itself? when you were down in Arizona? I would say just kind of environment in Phoenix. It, it was such a, it was such a great place, you know, great weather and a lot of, a lot of great vibes, you know, being able to be with the guys and uh, doing all those type of different activities. Like we had an activity where we uh, went uh, for the Salvation Army and just did a different type of charity things. And that was really cool to experience that with them. And, you know, obviously like the kind of the last part, being able to send our coaches off with a, with a win and then, you know, to send them off. And that, that was just a great feeling, you know, um, because we had been through so much the whole entire year. And then just, just to be able to send them off with a win and just, like, congratulate them for everything that they've done, uh, that was, like, the cherry on the top. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So you, you kind of touched on it a little bit. With all the, the coaching changing and all that, like, um, did you did you ever get to a point where you considered the transfer portal? Like, I know there's a lot of guys in and out, like Graham Mertz transferred out, Marcus Allen kind of transferred out and then kind of came back. But – um, some guys going to the NFL, but did you consider the transfer portal at all? Um, I would say the thought came into my mind, but I never really like kind of really ever went further into that. Like the thought just came into my mind, but I knew like overall, like Wisconsin was where I ultimately wanted to be no matter where the coaches was. I just love the culture of this place. I just love my teammates and stuff like that. So I knew like overall, this is the place I wanted to be. So I didn't entertain, entertain it much. It was just like a little bit of a thought at first, but I never really entertained it much. No, oh, that's, I mean, it's a fair point when you go through that much change, I'm sure like it's, it's hard to not at least, you know, th think about it. And that would just be, that would pretty much be with anybody, yeah. I'm sure. So that's, I wouldn't blame you for a second. So, so you're coming, you come to Wisconsin, right? You know, you have a big, big time high school career. And then once you get to, you know, the college campus and you're not, you know, not necessarily playing as much as you obviously used to back in high school. So with that being said, like through this process, how would you say you stay mentally strong, you know, through maybe not as much playing time, you know, obviously not, maybe not quite like this year, you're playing a little more in comparison to your redshirt year, but collectively since going, being on top in high school to now, how would you like, how do you handle it from a mental perspective if you had to you know, pinpoint that? Um, I would definitely say, you know, um, just kind of, you know, the difference because, you know, just kind of coming out of high school, you know, you don't know ultimately what to expect, but I know like being around older guys, being, a guy, being around guys that have been around the college football level for a little minute that, you know, I wasn't expecting to go in and just be like the guy right away. You know, obviously that's like what everybody wants, but you know, I wasn't expecting that. But I think, I think it was a great thing for me because it helped me to learn, like I, just to sit back and really learn how to play college ball, adjust to the tempo, adjust to the speed, adjust like to everything I have to do to be successful. And I think um, not playing so much my freshman year allowed me to really sit back and do that. You know, um, coming into the second year and being able to um, start the first couple of games for the season. Uh, which is absolutely amazing. I think that first year not playing as much really helped me to be able to take that step into the next year, just like sitting back and learning just how to be a college athlete and how to be a football player on Wisconsin. It's awesome. I love that answer, by the way. That's, yeah. that's, I love the mature approach. And it's, it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things that like, like I appreciate the most about being able to talk to some of you guys that are on the team because we as, as fans, we just see, oh, he's playing a little bit less, like he must be in the coach's doghouse or something like that, and not actually getting like the players' perspectives or like the coaches' perspectives. So it's it's cool having that, and it's cool being able to hear that from you. So <clears throat> a little more specific, actually, 
like how in general like we we focus for on our show is is we want to focus on things from a positive and optimistic viewpoint because we want to be able to help people that watch our show do the same. So how do you take care of and protect your mental health? Uh, for the most part, you know, I don't have like a crazy routine as uh, some other guys, but um, I just say for the most part, I just try to, I try to pick up a, a habit of uh, meditating. I know during the season, mm. I would do, it a, I would do mm. it a decent amount just to try to like keep up with that, you know, kind of uh, relax just kind of get myself relaxed before I go to bed and like knowing what I visualizing myself, you know, what I have to do with my tasks the next day and just kind of before games as well, you know, um, getting a little antsy, sometimes getting a little overwhelmed with emotions, just to calm myself down. I just put on my headphones, pop in a little meditation, uh, close my eyes and try to relax because, you know, with so much like, you know, us college athletes have to deal with so much rather than, like not even just football school it as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, just a lot of different factors. So, I think like meditating from time to time and trying to uh, create that, create that as like a, a, a very like useful habit for myself. It, it's been, it's been really good for me. So I think that that helps me out a lot. I love that answer too. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's really, really good. And we've noticed that too, with like the guests that we we've had on here, they get really, really good, concise, you know, answers when it comes to how, how do you have to, handle that sort of thing and it's really really cool to hear from a player's perspective like what goes through um you know what's in the process with that because i think a lot of fans all, all don't really understand what goes into you know being a college athlete behind the scenes and this is just like a perfect example of like what you know what else goes on in the day in the life or in like during the season with uh with you guys so no that's a well another really good detail answer that we i know tyler and i can appreciate for sure <laughs> yeah yes sir. Definitely. Thank you. yeah so then i want to get yeah to you know game time right so quite frankly we just want to know straight up i mean this is, i'm sure a lot of stuff is racing through your head but what's like your mentality when you're lining up against when you're lining up across a receiver you know when, when you know in the middle of a game uh, my mentality, my mindset is just like, I, as soon as I line up, you know, I want to make this guy have to fight for everything. Like, I want to make him have to fight for every catch, every yard he gets because, you know, just like, I want that guy to, at the end of the game, be like, wow, number two, number two gave me a good one today. He was a, he was a good guy. He was a baller. Mm -hmm. And that, that's just like my mindset going to, you know, being from Florida, being from Florida, especially, you know, we're, we're so like we're in bread with that with that mindset just that you know that you just got to play hard you're gonna have to play hard you're gonna have to be a dog because that's just what we taught so i carry that same mindset to college no matter who i'm lining up against i want to make you earn every catch every yard and that's just like how i'm going to be for the whole game it's mm -hmm. awesome so we you know i kind of mentioned a little bit when we we're talking about some of the coaching but you know, as as fans of Badger football and and being you know podcasting, um, we've we've heard like the term a new era. So, do the players like say like share that same sense of you know we're in the new era of Wisconsin football? Like, is that a, the same amongst the players as it feels like it is against the fans? Um, I think so. You know, like because um, with uh, Coach Fickle and him bringing in the guys he he's bringing in with the uh, including staff and players, I think it's something that we're all embracing. We're all embracing change. We've seen uh, Coach Fickle what he was able to do with Cincinnati. His resume is amazing. You know, being able to take them and turn them into a contender in the college football playoffs and stuff like that. And so we're we're like I think I don't just speak for myself when I say we're all excited. You know, excited for the change, excited for what's to come and excited for just the plan that they have for us. So I think we're all embracing that new era and everything like that. I like the, I like the phrase embracing change. I like that you brought that up. That's a, that's a good approach. Yes, sir. Yeah. And so, yeah, actually going kind of, you know, piggy banking off, off that. So you kind of mentioned before you, you've been in contact with Jonas. Um, have you ever had a chance to talk to some of the other recruits like the Amar, Amari Snowdens of the world? Jonas, obviously, AJ Tisdale, you know, any sort of like other new guys coming in on the secondary, perhaps, or anything along those lines? Um, yeah, so I have, I've been able to talk, like I said, I hosted uh, Jonas. I also hosted uh, Jace a little bit back. 
uh, for his uh, recruiting visit. And then uh, I had a brief conversation with AJ Tisdale when he was up here. And I also talked to uh, Justin Taylor a lot, a couple of times. You know, okay. he comes, he, yeah, he comes up here, like he's been up here a decent amount of time. So I've been, I've been able to have a couple of conversations with uh, all of them. And uh, I haven't talked to Amari Snowden yet, but uh, I decided to meet him when, when I get up, uh, when I get back. Uh, but yeah, I've been able to talk to him. Those guys are just all of them are hungry. And I love that because uh, it, it's cool to see the guys come in with like a, them guys are ready to come in hungry with a with a great mentality, you know, to just to get the work. And I'm, I'm excited for all of them. We're trying to get Amari Snowden on the show, actually. I sent him a couple messages this morning. So I'd be trying to beat you to talk to him. That'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah, trying. now that you say that, Tyler, that's, that's, that's pretty funny. <laughs> trying to get the whole team on the show. Yeah. Um, so we got – there's a whole bunch of new recruits. There's transfers coming in. Obviously, there's guys that are sticking around on the team. Um, like, how do you view competition in the, in the defensive backs room? Like, we talked to Cole Crew a little bit about this. This was even before Tanner Mordecai and um, Braden Locke had announced that they were transferring to Wisconsin. We asked him about how he views competition in the quarterback room. Um like, how do you view competition amongst the, the DBs? Is that something that you think about? Um, I think it's going to be great. You know, competition is always great because it, it breeds competitiveness and it breeds, like, the best level out of everybody. I think with uh, even, like, even if we look into last season when uh, we brought in three transfers with Jay Shaw, Cedric Dork, and Justin Clark, and I think that really helped bring the best out of everybody in the uh, DB room, just – going through spring and going through summer, it was so competitive. And I think, I think that's always excellent. You know, you can never have too much competition because you want to, you want your guys, everybody in your room just to maximize their potential and be the best that they can be. So I think uh, the competition we're going to have is going to be great. And I'm just like, I'm excited to see everybody bring, like everybody bring the best out of all of them and just like play ball to their best, best potential because it's only going to make us better as a team going forward. So I think it's going to be amazing. I really appreciate that answer. Like it's because it's, you know, it's something that we might expect somebody to say, you know, it's the, the iron sharpens iron type thing, but it's really being fans. Like we spend a fair amount of time on social media. So like, I see what a lot of people are saying on social media, which I'm glad to hear. Like when we had CJ gets on, like he said, he doesn't really pay attention to it, which mm-hmm. is good because it's honestly, it's not always a great place to be. But seeing what a lot of people will say is like, oh, they're bringing in this guy and this guy and this guy and they're, this guy transferred in and they got these new recruits. So Ricardo Holman might be disgruntled because they're bringing in all these new guys. So hearing from you that that's not the case, I think it just kind of adds to the fact that, you know, like athletes are people and they're all on the same team and they all want each other to succeed. And like the the wanting to push each other to get better thing is always something that's like healthy competition not that it's you know there's more people here so now i'm only worried about you know that i'm going to play less or something like that but it it makes you want to elevate not you know shrink yes so sir. that's, that's why I, I do appreciate that that type of answer so mm-hmm. yes sir so going to like the big 10 as a whole i mean obviously there's been a couple of changes you know starting in 2024 what are your thoughts on you know schools like ucla and usc jo- joining the uh the big 10 and i'm sure there's going to be more down there might be more schools down the line eventually but as of now with you know because they're going to be re- they're going to be starting in with the big 10 when you're going to be like a senior uh yeah a junior i believe junior or senior so uh you'll be right in the thick of things so what are your thoughts on ucla and usc joining you guys uh so I don't even know what to think. I mean, I think it's pretty cool, you know, uh, that we're going to get the chance to battle some West Coast boys almost every year. You know, I wonder how they're going to adjust that, you know, adjust to that because with the playing in the winter time and it's freezing cold, you know, they're not used to that. But I think I think it's pretty cool, you know, it's going to give us give us an opportunity just to play everybody and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work out for them, but – I think I think I think it's, I think it's going to be really fun. I think it's going to be cool to play guys from the West Coast and stuff like that. Hopefully, be hopefully it'll be a long ass plane ride for them after you guys serve them some L's that uh, I yes, can't sir. handle. Definitely <laughs> going to do that. Definitely going to do that. <laughs> so I want to throw. Jake wasn't able to join the show today, but I want to be able to throw out a question that he wanted to ask you. And 
Um, he wanted to ask you about all the quarterbacks actually that are, that are transferring in and committing. Um, he wanted to ask in relation to that with football being a team game. Um, do you, do you think about being able to play more freely with the offense, potentially scoring more and at a quicker pace? Um, you know, is that something that you think about or is it just, you know, I'm here to play defense and, you know, I'm here to, to guard opposing wide receivers, or do you kind of think about the offense and what that could do to affect the defense as well? Um, it's just kind of what it feels about, like, both options because, you know, um, obviously, like, I, I came here to play corner. I played there to guard receivers and stuff like that. But you can't help but be excited, like, with uh, Phil Longo and his resume in North Carolina, what he was able to do with Duke May and stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool, you know, uh, kind of – we're getting like quarterbacks in here like every other day, which is which is pretty cool. So there's gonna be a lot of competition in that room too. But just uh I'm excited for all our all our guys, you know, the receivers come in, the receivers that we have with Skylar Bell, Chamir, Chimere DK, Keontae Lewis. It's gonna be really fun just to see those guys kind of be able to like kind of grow out of the offense they was in to like be able to be more competitive. And I think it's gonna be super fun uh watching them guys go. And just like being being dominated on both sides of the ball, and I really think with this uh new scheme that they're having, and hopefully hopefully this can be the cost of that, and we can just be able to be dominant on both sides of the ball. That'd be that'd be awesome. Yeah, Mike was a big awesome. uh, was a big Skyler Bell guy. He called him out uh, before before Jake and I got him. But uh, I'm a I'm a Kim Ray DK fan, so I like watching all of you guys. But it's <laughs> it's really fun. But um, we we're pretty much just like. Damn, is it time for spring practice to start yet? We're just so excited to start hearing about you guys practicing and stuff like that and hearing how this team's going to kind of shape up. But um, for you personally, do you have any goals for spring practice? Um, Just, you know, to uh, kind of – I had a – like coming into this year, I had a really good spring practice. So just kind of elevate, elevate from there. Just take my game to the next level, uh, work on all the things that I want to get better at and just uh, kind of become more complete. Going into going into the summer and going into the season, just uh, yeah, having that sense of completeness within myself and just uh, just to keep elevating my game. Cool. Yeah, we're all, we're all excited. That's for sure. I always keep telling Tyler and Jake if he was on that. Hey, spring practice it just started last week already. So we're <laughs> we're we're just at that point already, uh, and we're we're just fired up to see you guys uh, right now. Uh, Get get the pads or not even get the pads on, but start start working already. I know you're you're resting a little bit, but I, I'm just an anxious uh, anxious fan <laughs> fan over here. So <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait. Yeah, and then we we wanted to because we love uh, this guy so so much. Uh, we wanted to ask you about you know what does and I think and I believe he played a big part in your recruitment as well. Uh, we've talked about him quite quite a bit on this show. Uh, what does what would you say? What does Jim Leonard, you know, mean to you overall? Because I'm sure he played a part in your recruitment. He's obviously been with you your first two years um, at, at Wisconsin. You know, we love him to death. We just want to know, like, what does he mean to you overall? Oh uh, yeah, Coach Coach Leonard meant a lot to me. You know, uh, the biggest factor, as you guys said, he was the biggest factor in my recruitment. Just uh, coming down to my school and offering me and making me feel like a priority all the time in my recruitment process. I think uh, he means a lot and not just to me, just to everybody on the team. You know, uh, we're kind of, we're kind of shocked when he wasn't, the, when we heard he wasn't going to be the guy moving forward because, you know, that was what everybody was rooting for at the moment, but uh, he means a lot and I wish him nothing but the best because, you know, for to do what he did, just uh, even his career here as a football player to come in as a walk on or a scholarship, be an all American and just bring that, bring it, bring it back to Madison and just be the great coach he was, you know, he impacted a lot of guys on our team. And I think, um, that speaks for, I can speak for everyone. I says that, uh, I said, so he meant a lot to me and, uh, he's a, he, he was a great dude and a great, a great coach, but even a, a better person. So wish him nothing but the best. Is there like, um, like an ideal position that you'd like to see him in? Like, you know, whether it be the NFL or a different coaching position or something like that, is there somewhere that you think would be like a good spot that you'd like to see him at? Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully next step is NFL for him. Cause you know, I know he's been kind of on that border for a little minute now. So hopefully uh, next step we can see him in the NFL and, uh, 
win the Super Bowls out there with his respective team. So that would be pretty fun to see him uh, wherever he goes. I'm pretty sure, you know, he has a lot of options, but whatever he takes him, I'm pretty excited for him. Being in Wisconsin, like Packers fans are just clamoring for him to be the defensive <laughs> coordinator of the Packers. It would just be like a, a perfect full circle fit for him to go from Wisconsin to the NFL, back to Wisconsin, back to the NFL and, and be with the Green Bay Packers in Wisconsin. So I think that's yeah. what a lot of people want to see. But um, so we've asked you a whole bunch of questions and, you know, we like I personally like I'm a fan of Wisconsin football. So being able to do this show and be able to get into contact with the players that are on the team and stuff like that, that's really cool for me. And it's, I really, I take it seriously that I'm able to, you know, whoever's watching for Badgers fans be able to, to get a little bit closer to the players. Cause that's something that I like, like, and that's, that's really cool for me, but is there anything that you would want to say to, to Badgers fans um, or, you know, anything you would want Badgers fans to know about you, about the team, anything like that? Uh, just like, yeah, we're, we're excited moving forward. You know, um, we know, we know these past couple of years have been a little bit underachieving, but you know, we're excited to get back, get back on the road and just kind of bring you guys. I think, I don't know. I'm really excited about this new team, really excited about the new area. And I, hopefully we can bring you guys a championship soon. And like, I know everybody's ready to get to work and it's, it's going to, it's going to be really fun. And I'm glad you guys can all enjoy the ride because it's going to be super fun. So I can't wait. Definitely having a lot of fun already, and like I said, with the the Luke Fickle bat signal, that's <laughs> every time. Oh, man. Every time Luke that Fickle bat signal, we're just like, who is it? Who's coming now? Who is it? Who's <laughs> yeah. next? It's, it's just, so it's contagious. <laughs> uh, well, I want to thank you again. Like it's it's seriously it's it's a really cool thing for me to to grow up as a Wisconsin. Uh, football fan you know watch badger games with my dad and you know saturdays it's like it's college football day and now being able to actually talk to college football players it's really cool and i really appreciate you taking the time to to join us and we would love to have you back you know once spring practice starts or as it gets closer to the season because it's it's really fun and i think it's really insightful to be able to talk to you guys in person so i really again i just want to thank you for your time and thank you for joining us yeah thank you very much ricardo (laughs) of course man thank you guys for the opportunity you know uh, whenever Whenever you guys want me to join in again, you know, just hit me up. I'm, I'm always down to join. But thank you guys for the opportunity. Oh, awesome. yeah. Thank you. Hey, have a have a good rest of your a good rest of your Wednesday night and enjoy Florida where it's warm. Yeah, you guys too. Thank you. All right. All right. Take, Take care. care. Yeah. Thank you again. Yep. Yeah.